My name is Matt Dent, I'm a graphic designer. I've been involved in uh, a series of coin projects, the New Reverses, uh, the WWF 50 pence, and now the Charles Dickens two pound coin. I have, I have. He, friends of mine have, uh, have kind of sent me a link to his website and say, oh, look at this guy. But uh, you know, he's really good, he does some great stuff, very, very nice. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. For me, it depends on, on you know, how, how it works across the shape of the coin, I think. And uh, quite a lot of the stuff I do is, is kind of ideas based. So for me, you know, to have a, an idea of the core, at the core of the design is quite important, I'd say. I think that just wouldn't work. Probably, probably loads of things wouldn't work. More things probably wouldn't work than would work, I'd say. Uh, and I certainly find that when I'm doing the, uh, doing the designs that I do. You, know, you kind of go through various incarnations of things and you look back on it and just go, well, you know, what, what was I thinking? That's just not, it's just not right, it won't work. It kind of depends on the process, really. Uh, with the New Reverses brief, uh, we worked with a, a modeler called John Bergdahl. So he translated my, my designs into plaster form. So he actually kind of cut into the surface of the plaster and, and the designs kind of came through that. So it kind of depends on the, on the brief uh, as to you know, whether plasters are involved or not. But uh, for me, Illustrator, uh, Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Photoshop, they're, uh, they're always involved. Uh, the output from Illustrator is a vector file and it gets taken into Photoshop and it becomes a bitmap. So, so, that, so you know, in that process you end with a bitmap. Um, I would say so, yeah, I, I would say so. I mean, it, designs, I suppose, commemorate various different things with the WWF. It was 50 years of the, of the, of the organisation with Charles Dickens, it was 200 years of his birth. So I suppose you, you have to get a sense of you know, what the design is about and an idea of, of what the subject matter might be and, and perhaps you know what it might be commemorating so I, I would say so yes. Mm, a lot of thinking. Ooh, uh, quite a while really. Um, the Charles Dickens coin probably took about uh, 12 months or so. Uh, I noticed that the brief was issued in August and I kind of completed the design in August the following year so yeah, about a year it tends to be uh, tends to be normal. Really. Traditionally, they they tend to be fairly kind of typical, you know, typical kinds of portraits, you know, low relief uh, modelling where, where the the image is quite recognisable. But there are instances where you can push the boundaries a little bit and uh, come up with a an image which is perhaps a bit more abstract, a bit more contemporary. Um, so I guess it depends on, on what the appetite might be for the design. Uh, I'd, I'd, I'd give it a go for sure. It would uh, it, it save me a lot of time anyway. Yeah. No, I haven't. Um, oh, actually, no, I have. Sorry, I have. I have been asked. Um, and it was a design for a Dutch coin. Um, but it, it didn't come to anything. It was, a, it was a really interesting process to be involved in and uh, you know, meeting new people. And uh, Yeah, it's, it's good because I guess it kind of takes you out of your comfort zone. When you're dealing with one organisation like the Royal Mint, you kind of get used to you know, their processes and, and their ways of working. So it was uh, kind of quite refreshing to be involved with um, a similar process but, but, but elsewhere really. Uh, my favourite is, I think it's got to be the, the new reverses really, as a, as a set. Do, can I get away with that as an answer? If I could do anything, I guess I'd, I'd probably make it personal. I'd probably do it something, you know, about my family or, you know, grandparents or parents or something like that. You know, something that's kind of close to my heart, I suppose. That's a good question, isn't it? Um, the, the series of coins that Percy Metcalf did for, for Ireland was uh, a, a brilliant series. I tend not to get involved in the argument really, which is kind of pretty, pretty weak, pretty a weak answer. There was one a few years ago which was uh, a triangular 
coin, which was uh, pretty interesting. Um, I quite like to make the, um, the shape three-dimensional a little bit more. You know, at the moment they're, they're tokens, they're, they're, they're circular in large part, but they're flat. You know, wouldn't it be nice if they were spherical? You know, like pebbles in your pocket or something like that. I'd, I'd probably do that. You play marbles with them. Oh, I've got a few. Yeah, I, I, I kind of collect them when I see them. Really, you know, you kind of piece them out of your change and you, you put them aside. So I'm, I'm going, to go, going through the habit at the moment of doing that. Uh, the archery one is is really nice. That's, that's pretty beautiful. The, fire, the the football one, you know, the explanation of the offside rule has uh, has a great humour about it. So it's kind of between those two for me.